Princess Anne, known for her no-nonsense attitude, had a stern three-word comeback for the man who tried to kidnap her in 1974. 23 at the time, the princess was held at gunpoint by Ian Ball after he stopped his car in front of the vehicle carrying the princess on the Mall London on its way to Buckingham Palace. Princess Anne was with her first husband Mark Phillips, police protection officer Jim Beaton, and her lady-in-waiting when Ball got out his car and began firing. Mr Beaton jumped out of their vehicle and tried to shoot Ball, but missed on the first attempt and his gun jammed on the second. A bullet fired by Ball hit him in the shoulder. Anne's chauffeur, Alex Callender, was shot as he tried to disarm Ball, as was Brian McConnell, a nearby tabloid journalist who attempted to intervene. A police officer who arrived on the scene, PC Michael Hills, was also hit. All later recovered in hospital. When Mr Ball, who had planned to hold Anne to ransom for £2 million, told her to get out of the car, she replied, Not bloody likely. Former boxer Ronnie Russell happened to be passing by and punched Ball in the head after he was tackled to the ground by officer Peter Edmonds. Princess Anne and Captain Phillips had been returning to Buckingham Palace after a charity event when it happened. Speaking about the ordeal on ITV's Anne, the Princess Royal at 70, Anne recalled. What is interesting is what you remember and how you remember it. Because although I thought I remembered everything that happened, I would never have been able to swear I could remember in the right order because they were like photos, individual snapshots, very clearly. Both Mr Beaton and Mr Russell were honoured for their bravery, with Mr Beaton, now 80 years old, being awarded the George Cross. Speaking to The Times in 2020, the former chauffeur and bodyguard relived the night in question. I thought it was somebody who wanted to be a pain in the neck. There was no hint of what was to happen. The princess later visited Mr. Beaton as he recovered in hospital after being shot twice in the hand and the abdomen. He said, I had nothing. There was no backup vehicle. The training was non-existent. But then again, we thought nothing was going to happen. They are highly specialized now, highly trained. Ian Ball was arrested and pleaded guilty to attempted murder and kidnapping and was sent to Broadmoor Hospital due to his schizophrenia diagnosis, where he remains to this day.